Hello, all. Welcome to Naval Battle Zone. Welcome back to Demon Productions. Um, before I get into this shipyard review, I just wanted to say about my uh, intro music for the last video. Eh, it's no. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Just gonna go back to what it originally was. It's fine that way. Um, but the shipyard review here we have for Unstoppable Seven Seven Seven. Uh, looks like a Ship 3 fast attack submarine. Um, I'm just assuming that just because it doesn't have a bunch of missile tubes and whatnot. <clears throat> so it is the USS Massachusetts SSN 5. Er, eh, what? <laughs> SSN 75. What the heck? Seven, eh, SSN 798. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. So it is completed. Date, okay. Commission USD format. Cool. All right. So here we have the conning tower. First thing, two periscopes. It's a good thing because sometimes people who are working down in the torpedo room they want to come up and they want to see what's going on. So having two periscopes is a good idea. All right. He's got a helm up here so you can drive up here. Always a good idea. Let's go down. So this looks like part of the, I, I don't think this is the control room, but he's got the two periscopes here, he's got the helm here, um, nav on this one, I, I would have put a helm on this one too, um, just so, you know, uh, in, ca in for some reason if this one gets broken or something like that, you'd have another one, but this one would probably get knocked out too. So we, uh, we'll uh, do our best to start up forward, so he's got the torpedo room up here. He's got the T. He's got his TDC. Always important. Uh, he's got his four Mark II torpedo tube arrangement. Uh, full reload capabilities, uh, top and bottom. Uh, really, just the typical torpedo setup. Looks nice. And then uh, we'll just have a little passageway here that connects down here. So we'll uh, we'll actually actually we'll start up here and then. Since it's, there's it's kind of uneven deck right there. All right, so this really does look like the real control room. So he's got his HF sonar on all sides. Um, HF sonar is really effective, when, especially when you're going through like a little canal or something like that, and there's obstacles or or just really out at sea. It's a good way to find debris. He's got his ballast tanks, radio, radar, sonar, more HF sonar. Uh, he's got his marine vehicle sign here, captain captain's chair right there. Uh, then moving aft along here, looks like we have another, this looks like the sonar, primarily the sonar room, so he's got passive sonar, nav, detector, another TDC, so it looks like you can control it from here or in the torpedo room. Uh, the radar sonar, just a little information room right there. Cruise quarters, like the little plant, it's always important to have the decorations, I'm sure, but I'm, but the only thing is I'm not sure that that works. <laughs> But um, good, good to have cruise quarters. Makes the boat feel a little bit more homey. More cruise quarters. Uh, torpedo storage. Always good to stuff extra torpedoes wherever you can find them because you go through them surprisingly fast. And here it looks like we have solitary confinement. Well, and there we have one of our primary government models for this server. But that's beside the point. So it looks like he's got his engine. He's got his nuclear reactor right here. Nuclear, definitely a good way to operate a sub. goes at the same speed underwater as it does on the surface. But it is pretty pricey. So it looks like he's got the same thing back here as he does up forward. He's got the four torpedo tubes. They're all numbered. Uh, I, I don't know. I It'd be cool. I th maybe Does the... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Does the TDC respond to Roman numerals like this? Because if it does, it's pretty cool. It's just I've never heard of it being used that way. But... I don't know. If it works, it works. Uh, again, another nav here, and yet another place to control the TDC, so he can... Um, I'm not sure why he has a nav back here, though. I'd have a helm sign right there, so I could control the whole ship from... or er, the whole boat from back here. Uh, but like I said, the TDC is good to have. Alright, so now we're on the lower level. So, Captain Slash XO quarters. It's got more cool little plants. Nice big old king-sized bed. Uh be a pretty big luxury to have that on a sub. It takes up a lot of space. 
It's got cake. Cake's very, very important. Um, moving on, we have the CO's quarters. Wait, what, what did this say? Oh. XO, executive officer, slash captain's quarters. Then he has the CO's quarters. Interesting, okay. Uh, kind of similar setup. More cake, but a more reasonably sized submarine bed. Uh, a little control panel there. Uh, CIC, Combat Intelligence Center. Oh, well, he, um, here's where he's got his, th most, this mostly just looks like a, uh, kind of a decorational room, because he's got all these fake signs here, like passive tracky range, yada, 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 um, all of which are cool, but kind of useless, um, and he's got more little flowers, flowers are important. Mess hall, very important for crew morale, more cake also important <laughs> and more flowers more deck more of that decoration and this connects to the fort torpedo room so looks like a pretty uh self-sustaining vessel um definitely seems like a good sub to use you know for faction operations where you might be out for a little bit or temporarily using the sub as a place to stay uh, so yeah it's a good sub, good sub, definitely with all of the torpedo tubes that have been fitted to it, it is definitely worth its while. Um, like I said about Ship 2 submarines, and this does go for Ship 3s too, is that they are easy to deal with in the sense that, you know, you can maneuver them through debris and stuff like that, whereas with Ship 5 sub, that becomes a big hassle, you hit something and, you know, all hell breaks loose. So, and you don't want that, <laughs> right? So. So yeah, this is Unstoppable 777's uh, SSN-798, USS Massachusetts. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all later.